All right, welcome back, guys. Here we finally have it. It is time to finish this baby off and get it ready to use. I'm excited. The last step we have to do is put this refractory coating redigitizer for ceramic fiber blanket on there. So it says add 300 grams, and there's 300 grams in here, it says. So actually, I don't even need to do the whole scale thing. So it says, uh, proportion 300 grams of redigitizer to 210 milliliters of water. We have our 200 milliliters of water already portioned out for us. That way, we don't have to um, wait for me to do that. Now, you know what? As a matter of fact, I actually do want to weigh out this redigitizer real quick because... Sometimes they might send some extra or something, and I just want to make sure for my first time I get it done right. So, give me a second. It looks like, yep, it's going to even out to exactly 300. If not, probably shy. It's a little shy. But that's okay. At least we know we don't have a bunch or way less. I was just worried about having way too much in there. Maybe somebody would have put some extra. But now that we can get that out of the way... So I don't know what the best way to do this would be, whether to add the water to the stuff, but like in the cooking field, I'm just going to add the dry stuff to the water and stir slowly. It says to stir for 15 minutes. I'm not going to make you guys watch me do that uh, in a second here. After you get the basis of what's what I'm doing, I'm just going to pause it. So I'm just going to add a little bit in at a time. And that should help me get, be able to get uh, not as many clumps as fast. So let me do all of this and then I'll bring it back so we can prep this uh, Devil Forge. Alright, we are almost done here. Been stirring for quite a bit. It hasn't been a full 15 minutes. Maybe about like 7 or 8. But there's no clumps in there. It's just air bubbles. If you use something from the kitchen like I did, I wouldn't reuse it to eat. <laughs> Tossing that right into the forging tools. So now I want to just take this nice new um, paintbrush that they actually included for us which was even awesome even more awesome and all we're gonna want to do is just paint this stuff on all over Want to get it everywhere in there.
don't be shy either you want to make sure you really coat this stuff you don't want to see any of that white I'm even getting around that nozzle And this stuff eventually will need to be re-applied. Um, you probably have to buy some of your own. Because it will end up cracking. And This is just to improve the health of the fiberglass. That This white... Uh, white... I don't know what to really call it other than fiberglass. <laughs> I don't know if it matters, but I'm going to go ahead and just use all of this. Like if there's some left over after right here, what I will be doing is letting that cool a little bit. That way it can at least dry on the top. So it'll allow me to just add the rest as another coating because it does say in the instructions that this does not, you can't store this for a long time. So it says use it fast. Oh, let me see if I can try to. Get some in there. Good thing we had gloves on, huh?
I got a better idea. I'm gonna put it all right here on the top and just let it goop down. Let gravity do all the work for me because this is all just extra. And never mind, a little bit of extra protection. All right, guys, there we have it. Now it's just wait to dry. This right here completes our three-part video on the new 4K, 4KG uh, Devil Forge. And can't wait to get this baby tried out. We got some new propane already and everything we need. All we need is for this to dry. So check back shortly. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.